Hello and welcome to Ketterk Farms. We are back with another live stream tonight. Unfortunately, we've had a handful of technical difficulties this evening. And so we're making a last minute switch from our plans to do a multiplayer live stream on American Life of Farming to we're going to mow some more grass on autumn oaks. And I say more grass because I put together an episode early this morning uploaded it for tomorrow and now we're gonna get in a time machine and jump ahead of that episode and cut some more grass on autumn oaks in the live stream today because well uh that's plan b right now so uh can't control the multiplayer servers they sometimes have uh, some issues lately and uh, they were running smooth all day so i was feeling confident in scheduling a live stream and then like 15 20 minutes before the live stream everything started crashing repeatedly so here we are so let me get everything set up here we'll get the game launched and uh let me catch up on chat oh my goodness we've got the horn bank sinatra appreciate you uh subscribing here or becoming a member i should say the support is much appreciated so tonight i'm gonna escape here for just a second and uh, alt tab out so that i can expand my chat here and i do have to say i was catching up on the chat a little bit before the stream started it's always awesome to see so many members uh in the chat so we've got a pretty full house here tonight I know I was talking to Ted earlier. We've got Godly Devil, J. Joe's in the chat, Nagi's been in here, Randy Pepler, good to see ya. Jack Adams, hey, welcome to the stream. It's always good to see ya. We've got our newest member, Bank Sinatra, Meatballs here. We've got so many uh, members who've gone orange here recently. They uh, turned over into being here for six full months of support, which is awesome. Robert Dunlap, one of our newer members, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. We've got Living on a Player and Permas Modding here from the staff team. So it's good to see everybody there as well. So let me, uh, let's not tab around to all of the vehicles. Let me actually find our mower here real quick. And uh, I guess we're going to spoil a little bit of tomorrow's episode. Uh, in that uh, tomorrow's episode is going to be a episode of Autumn Oaks. And we're actually going to be playing right after that episode. Uh, so the spoiler is we mowed a lot of grass already. Um, whoa, goodness. Well, there's the crash, except I'm realizing the crash counter is not running. We, uh, I, I didn't expect to have to be switching over between the series here uh, at the last minute. So I do apologize for that. We've crashed zero times. That seems unlikely. Can we crash one time? We cannot. That's interesting. Crash counter is a bit confused. Let's try this. Nope. The crash counter doesn't like to crash. Um. Who knows? Crash counter's being a little bit funky today. We'll give it a minute, see if it settles down. Crash counter's uh, on strike, kind of like Helper K. All of my automation has been failing me this week. We had a um, helper, uh, on the ME6 bot, and that's not been working for us. We've got uh, crash counters are broke. It's just everything's broke today. Everything's been broke. Brian Oxendine with the dollar forty nine. Appreciate you as always, sir. I actually beat the buzzer to the punch on that one. Landing exactly. I just started and it's already crashing here. Breakneck Farms. Hey man, it's good to see you in the stream as always. Cyber Farmer, what's up? Welcome to the stream. So we're going to dive into mowing this big section, I guess, just to continue to spoil the episode for that'll be out tomorrow. But we mowed all of that grass and uh, we did a few other odd jobs. So I guess we'll we'll leave it at that. 
So let me get this thing started here and uh, get my camera all set up and everything else. And once I get going, I think I'll be able to follow the chat just a little bit better here. There we go. Um, I've put probably, how many hours? A couple of hours on this mower now all the way already, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. So it's been awesome. And uh, class is mentioning uh, Oklahoma. Oh my goodness, there's another super chat. Oh, thanks Sinatra with the 1999. I appreciate you, sir. That's awesome of you. Um, really means a lot. Uh, the channel has been growing like crazy lately, and uh, all of the support has been very humbling. But, uh, yeah, I posted the Oklahoma video, and, you know, I'll be honest, it, we could probably salvage that farm if we put some heroics into it, but, uh, I don't know, that, that series went sideways on me really fast, and I knew as soon as I put the weed in that I'd made a mistake, that I wasn't going to be able to double up on it, and so, I don't know, we'll think about it, but there's a bunch of other uh, maps out right now that I want to give a chance, and uh, FS22 is on the horizon, so, oh my goodness, the horn tonight, Drake411, I appreciate you, sir, with the $5 super chat there much much appreciated so other than that though um our series are going really well i have to say i'm we're in the middle of a couple of really fun series we've got autumn oaks here that we're really still just getting started on even though technically we're going to consider this episode four of that series um we we're still in the first couple of days of spring so we've got so much to do here still so, Landon, I think I've kind of answered that question. I haven't decided, but I'm feeling like Oklahoma's going on the shelf uh, because there are three other things that I want to do right now um, that I just don't have time in the schedule for. And I feel like if I try to run too many series at once, uh, I'm going to get to a point where people aren't liking, you know, people are waiting too long to get to the next episode in a given series. So I try to only do kind of like three things at a time um, seems to be kind of my limit because then I'm getting two episodes out for each series in a given week so that's the plan we'll see how it goes though Mangus Farms welcome to the stream I will apologize to everybody I'm super behind on the stream tonight in fact I think if we go in cab this might be just a smidge easier uh, Jonathan Smith can I try no man's land that would be a fun one, maybe, for one of my uh, multiplayer live streams. That might be a fun map to try out for one of those. Um, do some some kind of a challenge on there. Fried Fluctuation. Now, there's an awesome name. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Ray, it's good to see you in the chat. Zach, welcome to the stream. Let's see if we can take... I think we're going to take three headlands off, and then I'll probably see if I can get a GPS track going here on this uh, long diagonal way here. Um, Ryan Lunt, good to see you, man. It's going well. We're having a bit of a last-minute uh, switch here and uh, doing something different. So I always get flustered when I have to change the plans, you know, 20 minutes before the live stream. So we'll, uh, we'll keep it going. Brian Oxendine, not only in the chat, but he's got his son present as well. Have a good one, sir. Appreciate you stopping in. Oh, goodness, with the $4 donation because he's leaving. Talk about a gentleman. I appreciate you, sir. Alex, how fast am I cutting the grass right now? That's a great question. I think about 15 miles an hour with this thing. This thing just flies. Um... Oh, and I've got a unit conversion or unit, yeah, unit convert from uh, the community extension mod installed. So you can actually see here, even though technically the label is kilometers per hour, that's actually 15.5 miles per hour. The uh, community extension mod version of unit convert actually changes the in cab uh, miles per or, you know, the unit of measure for speed, which is really awesome. Whoa. 
We spun out again. Daniel plays. It's good to see you in the chat. Um, you might. It might have been a while since you were in chat on a live stream, but uh, I always appreciate your comments on YouTube. You've been very active as a YouTube commenter, and it's always appreciated. Ray, you just did about 10 hours of rock picking today. Hopefully you mean uh, in farm sim and not real life, because real life rock, rock picking is a lot of work. Even if you're using an automated method. Uh, we're actually going to turn the HUD on for a little bit, I think. And I'm going to try and get GPS going at this angle that we're running on. And I think I'm going to do it like this just because that's the longest way across this field and honestly it doesn't i don't think it really matters what direction you cut grass so farmer ken bob yeah we uh we were planning on running multiplayer tonight and literally five minutes before the stream we had to make a change because uh the multiplayer servers went down so uh, I wasn't going to deal with the uh, multiplayer servers being down and trying to stream on them, so we just uh, switched over and started up Autumn Oaks here. Cade, welcome to the stream. We're doing good tonight. We've just gotten started. This is our first field that we're mowing here, so you haven't missed anything yet. Oh, there you go, Farmer Ken Bob. I apologize. All in real life, no automatic stuff. Yeah, that's how we did it, Ray. Like, back in my day, we actually picked the rocks by hand. So that was uh, a lot of work for sure. So we're going to uh, get this going here. This field is actually not going to take too long to do. Uh... But we've got some fun things lined up for our Thursday night live streams, assuming that our multiplayer servers are working. And so Thursday night is going to be our custom farming uh, night with the multiplayer. And on Thursday, we're going to be doing a custom harvest of wheat on the Peace River map. And so I've been wanting to try out Peace River since it came out. It looks pretty cool. And so I'm really looking forward to giving Peace River a shot uh, on Thursday night. So dial in for that. And on Thursday during the day, I've been trying to do um, some kind of, you know, one-off stream. Something a little bit different. And I'm thinking about uh, trying to get the potato achievement in American Truck Simulator. So... We're uh, looking into uh, maybe streaming that during the day on Thursday. So we'll see how that goes. Hank the Tank, it's your son's birthday. Happy birthday to your son, dude. I always love birthdays. It's fun to get to celebrate with uh, friends and family. Yeah, Pleasant View Farms, I won't lie, it's been seeing Robin in uh, on the Discord server posting all the pictures of his adventures on Peace River. The guy is farming the entire map, and so much so that he actually went in and edited the map to unlock the rest of the map that uh, is outside of the map boundaries currently, because Camille only included uh, so much of the map, he kind of cut parts of it out and didn't include it in the playable area. And so Robin is uh, farming all of Peace River. So that's a huge undertaking. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. Um, Levi, the Peace River map that we're talking about is actually in uh, British Columbia, I wanna say. Uh, and so it's a Canadian based map. Mike and well, I like your videos. Well, I appreciate it, sir. The kind words are always appreciated. A lot of work goes into putting the content together on the channel. And uh, 
despite the fact that we've missed quite a few days in the last uh, month or couple of months here uh, in due to some medical issues. Uh, hopefully here in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be getting 100% back on track. We are caught up though. Uh, I've got tomorrow's videos already uploaded and uh, the content for Thursday is the double live stream as usual. And then uh, Friday's content is already in the progress. So hopefully we're going to uh, be caught up here before I go in for surgery on Friday. And uh, um, hopefully get, uh, going to get ahead and get a couple of more videos ready for the weekend. Uh, I anticipate kind of being down and out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I'll be back at it again on Monday of next week. Pleasant View Farms, I appreciate you, sir. I haven't checked in the last few days. It's been busy, but uh, when's your next video coming out, dude? I know you've been uh, working hard on the real-life farming videos. Uh, I really liked getting to see uh, some of the pictures of your new shop going up and stuff in the Discord server. Uh, Jonathan, I, uh, um, I have a... I forget what it's called. I've got a hernia in my gut, and uh, it's causing me a lot of discomfort, uh, especially when I sit in a computer chair for so many hours a day. So luckily, I have a standing desk, and so it's funny. Um, if you listen, especially in tomorrow's episode, you'll probably hear that my voice changes uh, during the episode a few times, and that's where I have to pause and move my desk from standing to sitting in the middle of the episode. Uh, so that I can kind of get some relief from the pain. And so it's uh, it's been interesting. But luckily, I am uh, fortunate enough that I was able to afford a very nice uh, standing desk. And I can kind of get things uh, switched over uh, in a relatively short amount of time. So, uh, But yeah, it's going to be interesting. The recovery time on this, I've heard a lot of different things from different people. So... It's going to be anywhere from one to six weeks, depending on what they have to do once they kind of get me in there. So hopefully it's shorter. It's on the one week side. I'm trying to be optimistic and it's not on the six week side of the equation. But uh, either way, this week is uh, surprisingly, even though it's the like last week here before I go in, has been a really good week. It's been a really productive week. And so I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, getting content together. Um, it's funny, we were actually on the American Life of Farmer Farming server playing a little bit uh, over the last couple of days, you know, kind of getting things ready for the live stream and uh, honestly just making sure our farm doesn't uh, go under on the multiplayer server because that would be embarrassing. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. And so it's ironic that right before the live stream the servers go down and the members are actually have messaged me since we started the live stream and switched over that the multiplayer servers seem to be working fine again so it is what it is uh it's uh the curse of youtube i guess sometimes it seems like things have a tendency of going wrong right before live streams And there we go. We'll go in cab for a little bit here. Old man Jeb, appreciate it, sir. And yeah, Jack Adams, as soon as I said I was switching, the servers came back online and are working fine. So that's how it goes sometimes. Chris M. Yeah, this is a little bit small. I would like a slightly wider header. Uh, because that, you know, in real life, I think most people run this with a, a bit wider of a header. Uh, but it goes so fast, and I really like that it's self-propelled. Um, I should look into... I know they've got those... Um, uh, what do you call it? The Not a disc bind. I don't want a pull behind, but maybe a uh, three-point mounted or something like that. The problem is finding good American-style mowers. OG Chiefs fan, it's good to see you. Welcome to the stream, man. Swather, there you go. See, the member's always keeping me honest with my terminology. 
Jonathan, when you say on Iowa, what Iowa map are you referring to? Oh, we're spinning out. I'm familiar with a few different Nebraska maps, but uh, the main Iowa map I'm thinking of is Flint Hills, which I did a rather lengthy series on that map. Um, so if you're looking for a Iowa-based series, I did Flint Hills. I did, that was one of my longer running uh, Let's Play series. Um, had a ton of fun on that. And then MRG's Lincoln Creek just launched his edit to Random Sparks' original uh, FS17 map, uh, Lincoln Creek, Nebraska. And so that is a map that I'm strongly considering doing a series on. And so if I do decide to uh, quit Oklahoma, I think I might jump over and run a series on Lincoln Creek. That would be a lot of fun. Joey, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Peace River is in Alberta, Canada. Interesting. I want, I can't, I think somebody confirmed for me, but at least the map's supposedly based on somewhere in British Columbia, I think. <clears throat> but I think this is one of those things like, uh, uh, somebody tried to tell me that the Yukon River Valley was uh, map was based in Canada, but it's covered in American flags, and a huge part of the Yukon River goes through America, or through Alaska. And so, you know, I guess in my mind, I always just assumed it was based on the Alaska part of uh, the Yukon River Valley. Hey, 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 Supernova YouTube, welcome to the stream. Good to see ya. UMRV is an Iowa map. That's true, too, Mangos. That is an Iowa map. We just did a live stream on that uh, last week. Rowanator, this is episode four. We're in a time machine tonight. Uh, episode three is a video that will launch tomorrow because we had to change our plans at the last minute. And so we are in the future mowing grass because there's so much grass to mow on this map. Whoa, we spun out again. We're going to need a uh, spin-out counter here in a minute. I think that's like the fifth time, and the head lowers so slow on this thing. That's the only thing. i got to just quit raising the head. All right, quit spinning out. I bet I could just do donuts in this thing. All right, so that's this grass field. So we're going to jump over here. We've got a couple of more to do here. Tim Maslin, welcome to the stream. It's probably Maslin, Maslin. I'm uh, infinitely good at butchering names. And uh, Dave, you're spot on with as fast as this thing goes. This, it doesn't feel like it's that small of a mower, but if it did have that header that was a couple feet wider, oh man, think of the ground we could cover. So let's, uh, we got a few more of these contours to mow here. Let's take a quick look at the map. Oh, and turn grass on, go down here. Yeah, I mean, we're cranking through this grass now. Oh, we're driving over the crops. Good thing the crops aren't up yet. The Van Reasons are here. Good evening. Good to see ya. <laughs> there you go, Tim. I'm going to remember that one, I think. Surrounded by 127 acres of actual farm. Nice. Oh, reading chat, not watching where we're driving. All right, so let's uh, jump in here. I actually, for once, this is one of the few mods I find it easier to drive in cab rather than out of cab. Need to plant corn already. Well, so that was the plan for the previous episode. And then I realized that we had all this grass that needed to be mowed. And so if you look at the seasons calendar here, our corn can't get planted until late spring. 
And so we've still got two days to go into late spring. And so the goal is for us um, to go ahead and get all this grass mowed because if we pop back into the seasons menu, we've got drying potential here today and tomorrow. So we're driving all over the place though. Uh, so the hope is, is that with two days of dry weather here, we can actually get some hay out of all of this grass and start baling hay. Um, and so if we can get that going, we can get the corn planter going here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll get through spring here pretty quick. There's just so much to do. I'm glad I went up to nine day seasons. Normally I play on six day seasons and it just felt like that would have been too much to do. I feel like nine day seasons is gonna be about perfect for me. Uh, just owning the main farm right now. You wish there was a Mac Don Swather in FS19. I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen a Mac Don Swather. Justin Young, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. This is the Dairy Cow series, Autumn Oaks. This map is actually out now. It was released a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Luke, I should use more Ford mods. Um, I don't know if there's a lot of great US-based Ford mods out there. <clears throat> Yeah, Jonathan, uh, um, car and vehicle options are fairly limited on the console, mostly because you can't get branded equipment on consoles, so that is always a struggle. Uh, Brock, I believe this mower is on Xbox. It is on the Mod Hub. Uh, it was just released uh, in the last couple of weeks here. Yeah, there are a few swathers out there for FS19. Um, I don't know how good a quality they are because it's not the kind of mod that I've typically used. Um, I'm trying to think of where I would have seen them. I know somebody just came out with a swathering header for a, uh, what do you call it, for a combine here recently, which is cool. There you go, Daniel plays with the double check. This is for all platforms. Tristan, I agree. This is an awesome looking map. I've, I I played Autumn Oaks early on in my time-lapse career. Uh, the first conversion of this map to FS19 and absolutely loved it. And so I was really excited to see an update come out for it. Um, I've played on two different farms on this map already uh, in the previous version. And so this is definitely bringing back some nostalgia for me. This will probably be the first map in history that I've done three different series on. Ah, uh, that's not true. Millennial Farmer got three or like four or five series, actually, come to think of it. Because uh, I had to keep restarting every time a version of the map came out. Uh, but this will probably be my second most uh, playthroughs on a given map. Can I do a video on how to download this map? Couldn't figure out the unzipping thing since you're new to this. Uh, there's a great video on how to download and install mods by, um, I wanna say the farm sim guy did one uh, that I usually reference people to. I don't have the link handy, but uh, I have that in the Discord server. Um, and I always send people to check out his video uh, whenever they have questions about that because he did a good job of covering some of the odd things that people run into when they're new to downloading a, mo a map or a mod that has like multiple different pieces to it. Uh, cause I find that there's a certain benefit to having kind of those visual aids for it.
as long as we're here, we're just going to back up and uh, get this last little point. Beam RP 19 today. Well, congratulations. All right, we're almost there on this strip. I have to say this is mower is just ripping through this grass so far. We're making a lot more progress than I expected we would. Luke, we've got a Ford truck on this farm. In fact, I'm going to be doing a video spotlight on the mod that I'm using here shortly. Um, I've got a preview of a mod that's going to be released at quote unquote some point in the future here. Um, it's a F350 slash F450 and uh, it's been a really awesome mod. And so we'll go back up to the farm here and show that off in just a second. All right, let's, oh my goodness. Gaddy Town with the $20 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. Picking up the slack on Oklahoma. There you go. Yeah, it's funny as I, uh, <laughs> I appreciate you, sir. Seriously, that's awesome of you. Um, I posted that Oklahoma video and I like I kind of had a little bit of fun with it. I was like, man, I'm only 10 episodes into a series. I usually like to run two full seasons on a series before I uh, move on to the next map or two full years. And uh, I, I got to that episode. We sold the cotton and I realized how big of a trouble we were in from a financial perspective. And I realized that like all I'd done in the episode was sell cotton and complain about how much debt we were in. And it wasn't a full episode, and I'm like, I'm just looking at the clock, and I'm like, well, like, I'm going to have to fast forward, you know, 12 days of seasons to get to the point where I can harvest wheat. Like, that's a lot of fast forwarding on a 4X map, because you got to wait every couple of days for the map to catch up, or seasons gets all messed up. And so I was like, well, I... I I'm just going to do, like, a year in review, and I had a few different ideas for that segment. And uh, uh, one of them was I, every time I bought or used a piece of new equipment, I was going to put like the price tag of it and like just watch the money go down. Uh, I didn't do that uh, because I didn't have all that information handy. And so I decided to just take one clip from every episode of the series so far and do kind of like just a little montage. And as I'm editing it, I was like, man, this is so sad. So what should I do? Like, what am I going to do with this video? Like, it's just sad, you know, watching all this, you know, and like knowing that we're not making it financially. And so I was like, well, you know, we're going to need some sad music for this. And so I searched for a song, you know, and I've got uh, Epidemic Sound. And so I just put in um, that there's a tag system. And so I did the sad tag. And the first song in the list was this country song called You're Better Off Without Me. And I thought it was just so uh, fitting for the, uh, <laughs> the Oklahoma series. And so that's how I picked my music. And then I was just like, well, now we got to kind of like make the video look sad and um, all that good stuff. So that's how that video came to be. Uh, Noah, what's the PDA look like here? Just a second. I'll get spun around here and turn on GPS and then we'll bring up the uh, map for you to check that out. Let's see here. Uh, we're not, we don't have long enough for GPS on this stretch. So the PDA for Autumn Oaks, uh, let's turn grass off for just a moment because it makes it look a little bit overwhelming. And so this is your PDA for Autumn Oaks. And the interesting thing is that the, the core groups of land sell for the farm. So you have a farm here that's a big dairy farm. You have a small dairy farm a cattle farm, and then an arable farm, and a, another arable farm in the corner here. <clears throat> so you've got a fair amount of farms for a 1x map. Yeah, Gaddy Town. There you go. I can't, uh, can't use the copyrighted music, but uh, it was a 
it was a fun video to edit, which is, you know, maybe a little bit sad to, to say because so many people are upset with me. The comments on that video was uh, overwhelming. I, I didn't think uh, so many people were that invested in that series, especially since it hadn't gotten nearly the number of views as some of the other series that were running. But uh, yeah, people were definitely invested in uh, the Oklahoma series. Yeah, Cade, it would be nice if you could get different kinds of uh, um, hay and, and, you know, other kinds of crops. I mean, a lot of the modders are adding alfalfa and triticale and uh, MRG just added field grass to uh, Lincoln Creek. So lots of different options there. Although I will admit that's one thing that never really bothered me too much about um, crops not being in the base game as long as it was a crop that we had the ability to use and implement on. What bothers me is when um, like modders can't add a crop that you then can't harvest. Like I hate using a um, the in-game uh, beet harvester to do cabbage. Like it just doesn't make sense. I, I understand why modders do that, uh, but I I want there to be an ability to harvest the new crop in the game if I if I add it in. And this is where, you know, when a modder adds a new grass type, you know, we've got tons of mods and the ability to cut uh, grass types. So, you know, it doesn't bother me as much when uh, those are missing because the modders can just add those in. Oh, and I said we were going to go up to the farmyard and look at the truck here. Let's do that real quick before I forget about it because this mod is absolutely awesome. Um, and I think I parked our truck somewhere over here. Maybe it's up here. Where did I park my truck? In the garage. Here we go. So we've got this awesome F-350 here that uh, Jonathan Dubois over at Northwest Mods and Edits sent over to me to uh, get an early look at, to play around with, give him some feedback. And uh, we're going to be doing a... Um, preview video on this here at some point but uh, since somebody asked we'll jump in here to the store real quick and I'm not normally a Ford guy but this is just an amazing looking mod I mean you've got all your different trim packages you've got duels you've got you know not duels um, you've got headache racks we've got work light options you've got you know goosenecks and normal trailer options like there's a lot of solid options on here you've got toolboxes you've got a diesel tank option um you know we've got all the little mud flaps and different options like that i can put us or canada plates on it which is cool because i run both of those types of series and you've got the core um Ford truck colors in here for uh, this particular model. There might be others, but uh, these are the ones that are in here at the moment. And so everything on this mod is just really well done, um, which I really like. And so we're starting that off. And uh, if we hop into it here, the sound, like it just sounds good. Like I love, uh, I love the sound on this truck. And uh, honestly, if we look at the interior, it's got all the different uh, dashboard lights and different things. A lot of really good detail inside of this truck. Um, if you look in the, I mean, the back seat's all decked out and looks nice. A lot of people don't pay that much attention to all that level of detail. And uh, yeah, this is a sweet truck and we're loving it. So... And I like that it has kind of a startup and a shutdown um, sound that kind of plays. And, you know, it doesn't just turn itself off immediately. It's a good truck. I'm having a lot of fun with that so far. So this is the series we decided to give that a run in. And then uh, we'll put a video together on that here soon as well. It's one of those... Uh, um, I said it in my video that I did on the map that uh, he did. Um, Northwest Mods and Edits, he's the individual who put out the Du Bois Farms map. Uh, that's a 1X map based in Canada. I did a couple of, I think I did a live stream on it, and I've used it as the test map for some of my um, bigger seating equipment and stuff. And uh, I set it in my Canadian map 
video that I did is I feel like he's one of uh, Farm Sim's best kept secrets. He's kind of off on his Facebook group uh, doing some amazing things, but hardly anybody knows who he is. So we're going to fix that. We're going to put some videos out there and uh, see if we can draw some attention to him. He might uh, he might not appreciate it after the fact. We'll see. But uh, um, he's been awesome. He's been kind enough to share some mods with me. And so I definitely want to uh, help him out any way I can. He's been a, a great guy. Gaddy Town, have I figured out the cows on this map? So we have uh, not gotten very far. We're still in uh, mid-spring right now on the map. And so we, I think we figured them out. And Dennis Farms has been super helpful. He's answered every question. I've DM'd him very quickly. So um, if I do run into any problems, I'm sure he's going to answer. But I think I've got it all figured out. Old man Jeb, it's always good to see you in the chat, sir. Appreciate you coming and hanging out tonight. And uh, we'll talk to you soon on Discord, I'm sure. Have a great night. All right, so we got to get this strip mode here. Um, it's funny is we've been having so much fun with the members uh, the last couple of weeks. We've been doing live stream. All of our mo streams have been multiplayer except for the other Autumn Oaks stream that I did. Uh, and so um, definitely having fun doing more of the multiplayer live streams. I've been playing around with my settings, and I think uh, Thursday, to not to not tomorrow, but Thursday night when we do the live stream, assuming our multiplayer servers are cooperating, we will uh, be trying to get some of the members on voice chat with me here so that everybody in the stream can hear them. Uh, it's taken me a little bit, not to figure out how to do it, but just to make sure that we're doing it right and we don't run into any problems. So we're going to give that all a shot here uh, next week. Farmer Ken Bob, will he answer your questions if you DM him? Actually, I want to say he disabled messages to the page for the next couple of weeks uh, just to cut down on uh, the amount of noise that he's getting. I, I want to say that was him. I can't recall. I saw one of the recent map releasers said they were doing that because uh, they were just getting a ton of questions. But uh, Dennis Farms has always been super, super easygoing, very kind guy, uh, very helpful. And so he does have a Discord server, uh, and there is a help channel over there, I believe, or a channel specific to the map where a lot of members of the community have been helping each other out. And as always, if you have questions and you're running into problems on a map and you're not sure what to do, uh, you can ask on the Ketter Farms Discord server. We've got just under 2,000 people on uh, our Discord server at this point. And uh, the link to our Discord server is in the description of the video. Uh, and so if you're looking for a friendly community to come hang out with, get some help on uh, how to do things in the game and, you know, stuff like that, join the Discord server. We, got a lot, we have a lot of fun on there. I know there's definitely days that uh, I should be recording a video, but I'm too busy chatting with people on the Discord server. Stephen Martinez, yes, we made a last minute change uh, because the uh, multiplayer servers crashed right before the live stream. And uh, we've been having some problems with them for about a week now. And I didn't want to uh, fight back and forth with that all night on stream. And so I thought it would be easier to just jump over here and uh, do some mowing. We've got a ton of grass. Oops, we don't have our mower on. We're going way too fast. And so that was the last minute change. I literally changed it um, like five to ten minutes before the live stream was supposed to start. Rowanator, uh, Dennis Farms' Discord link is probably on his Facebook page. Yeah, this map has been awesome, Steven. I'm really looking forward to getting uh, through the year and start selling some of our uh, milk here, uh, getting the dairy kind of fully running. I'm actually kind of scared and intimidated by some of the advanced mechanics here, 
but at the same time uh it is easy that we can have the cows graze right now and so having 20 plus cows and not having to worry about feeding them has been awesome and i love the fact that dennis farms just completely removed the water mechanic from the animals on the map um so i don't have to worry about going out there and uh watering the cows uh they're gonna drink water on their own so that's awesome parker ellis welcome to the stream <clears throat> so we're almost done with all of the contour sections here we've been uh making really good progress on this i was not quite intending to just stop there at the end i wanted to turn and head up along the road here but we didn't quite do that either all right header is down it's kind of hard to tell if i'm actually mowing or not when i'm in cab That's my, not really a complaint with the mod, just my only observation here is it's so quiet in the cab compared to being out of the cab. And you're going so fast that you're not even sure if you're doing anything. Rowan Hader, you're having a problem where you can't use the hayloft on the main farm. You need help with it. So I haven't used the hayloft yet, but it should work by just putting the bales in front of the big doors here on uh, um, the end closest to the bins here. And then you get them back out by going inside the barn. There's a ladder and a little door where you can get them back out of. We can run over there and take a look at it here really quick. <clears throat> we'll... Uh, Get this guy to the end row here and turned around and then I'll jump over there because it's really straightforward. And I did actually try it with a bale. We uh, we purchased a bale and tried it out, so I know it works for a fact. Here, so we'll uh, we'll shut this thing off for just a second and we'll jump up to the farm because this hayloft is one of the coolest things um, that I've seen on a farm like this. And so we've got the uh, barn here. And so if I actually, uh, let's see here. Let's turn on our HUD. I've got enough money to buy a bale. Oh, let me see if I have a bale, actually. We might have a bale. I, I bought a bale for testing. I don't want to buy a bunch of bales because I don't have a lot of money, but we could buy one bale. Um, but what you do is you run in here, and then when you get to this ladder, you can push R, and you can see that we've got one hay bale up in the uh, the top here. And so if I hit confirm after I select that bale, it's going to hop out right here, and we can interact with it. Now, this is a big bale, and so because we're demo-purposing this, I am going to just pick this up and run it out here. But uh, normally I would get the skid steer or something. But as I get into the trigger here at the end, it's like throwing it back up into the hayloft. And so we'll be able to see that I've got a hay bale loaded up in the uh, uh, attic here. And so if I come up to this ladder, if I push F1, you can actually see in the F1 menu that I've got one hay bale in here. And I can also put straw bales in here. And then you can see that there's an R to open menu. And so that's your hotkey, at least my hotkey, that's what it's bound to. Uh, to get in here and interact with this menu. And so I can also switch between hay and straw and uh, do all that. So that's really cool. It's uh, built-in storage for all your straw and hay needs, which is really, really cool. So with that, let's uh, jump back down here, get this mower going. We're almost, uh, almost done with these strips. Sherry Pinkerton, you're so excited. Rohanator, I'm not sure. Maybe Are you using an older version of the map? I'm not sure if you've got one of the early access versions. Um, there were some issues with that, but uh, the later versions of the map definitely fixed that problem.
we've got a bunch of rocks out in this field that we plowed too that we're going to have to come and pick at some point here. We didn't get around to that in our episode either. Yeah, I haven't tried the release version of the map yet. Um, I'm actually two versions behind because uh, Dennis Farms was kind enough to send me a early access copy of the map. And so I'm actually playing on a version of the map that has a lot of bugs and issues with it still. Um, I haven't run into any, but uh, he has sent me the new version and obviously he released it to the public now. Uh, but there are a number of things I'm going to have to do to move my save over because uh, uh, different things have changed that would normally require a new save. And we've put a lot of work into this map already, so I don't want to have to do a new save. So I just need to uh, figure out all the things I need to do to uh, move my save over to the new version of the map here. So hopefully we can get everything planted and uh, do that here after you know the next couple episodes i'm gonna have some downtime this weekend while i'm recovering from surgery so i thought that'd be a great time to do some of this more uh maintenance work that i can do from a laptop while i'm sitting on the couch so we're gonna finish this uh bit up here in a couple of passes uh, I'm thinking that the other side of this field, I'm not sure how much of that we're going to do. Let's uh, take a look here. Oh, that's a pretty good chunk of grass. We might need to cut some of that too. And then we have another big section of grass back here behind these trees, I believe. We've got Landon Pinkerton over here, likely on a uh, family's account. Welcome to the stream. Jonas, what mod do you have that tells you the acres? That is part of the community extension package. That particular piece, I believe, is part of the display add-on uh, for community extension. And so I did a video on that not too long ago. Uh, Thundar Modding has released the uh, community extension mod. It's kind of like the unit convert mod, but it's, you know, been taken to the next level. And so it converts... Um, all of your units in the game in a whole bunch of different areas and then add some extra capabilities here like this uh, um, acres readout on the bottom right hand corner of my speedometer and it looks like the grass that we're cutting has dried sufficiently that we're getting hay right out of the gate now um, which I won't be able to come and pick up right away because we've got to wait for the grass next to it to finish drying out or we get that weird mixed uh, mixed grass thing and the baler doesn't work right and so on and so forth. But uh, I am excited that uh, things are drying out enough that we're getting hay right away on the first cut. We don't need to even let it dry at this rate. Is my header not down? No, oh, it's down. Okay. I don't know why we didn't cut that bit. Uh-oh. We're not cutting anything. What happened? Hmm. We have stopped cutting grass. All right. Let's try this again. Brady, love the video. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Um, all right. I didn't want to have to buy this thing, but uh, that's got to be hay. This is semi-dry because the grass shouldn't be that wet, that it's grass. We've got to buy the stuff thing in here trying to remember where it is where's the seasons like multi-tool thing this should tell me what's what yeah so we got grass here that's only 19 percent so this should be less no that's the same the blades are dull exactly I need to unfold the mower, okay. 
Faber Farming, how you doing, man? Good to see ya. We were mowing grass like crazy, and uh, it gave up on us for a minute there. It looks like we're going again here. The grass on the wet is wet grass? Ooh, that's a problem. Because wet grass means I have to get a tether. And that would definitely be a bad thing. Brady, is this a new series? Uh, sort of new. This will technically be episode four, although episode three has not released yet. So it looks like all of the other grass that we've mowed here was uh, above 20%. Guess we should have uh, checked to that ahead of time because uh, I don't think wet grass is going to turn to semi-dry on its own, is it? Don't you have to use a tether on it? And these are different. Um, these are definitely different colors now. And so I thought we were cutting it when it was dry because uh, the green. I thought that green used to be a lot darker than that for wet grass. But uh, again, I don't do that much grass work. I thought the wet grass texture was a lot more green than that, though. So now we're going to need a tether to ted all of that other grass, which is going to be uh, very, very unfortunate. Am I doing cattle? Yeah, we're going to do uh, dairy on this map, Brady. And so we've got uh, 22 heifers right now in uh, various pins pens and the goal is to get ourselves up to uh probably a hundred over the course of the uh next uh year or so in seasons we'll see how it goes so i'm all of a sudden super frustrated that we've got all of this uh wet grass here that we uh are gonna have to get a tether to deal with. Not what, what, not part of the plan, not part of the plan. Godly devil thinks it's gonna turn to uh, semi dry over time here. I don't know, I don't know. I thought that uh, once it was wet, it had to be tetted. But uh, Godly Devil's done a lot more grass work than I have, that's for sure. Either way, we've got some semi-dry here that'll dry out pretty quick now, it seems like. So, at a minimum, we will... Uh, keep going here but uh we do have the big field in the back so maybe we'll just uh let it rot away because uh we weren't planning on doing all of this grass to be honest uh we were gonna just uh mow the part that i'd already mowed previously and uh not bother to come back out here and do the rest of this until later in the season and we saw if we even needed this much hay but now that we've suddenly not have as much hay that as we think we do, we're going to run out here and we're going to mow up this big field in the back, I think. Oh, yeah, look at this field. This thing is uh, going to drive me nuts. So we'll uh take a headland pass off here i'm not gonna be too picky about trying to get right up onto the edge of things this is a giant field we're gonna have more grass or hay than we know what to do with here but uh we are gonna take the 
headland and then we'll do some up and down rows we uh at some point i want to figure out how to do the uh, course plate thing where you created your own field boundary um i think that this is probably a great place to do that because i don't want to have to do um all the grass work manually every time and so if i can just set this up like a field back here and i guess i could just get a plow out and plow it under one time too and create a field back here um, life is going to get so much easier. Plus right now I can't put any fertilizer or anything down on this, so my yield on this grass is pretty low. And so we might, uh, we might actually do that. We'll probably cut this and uh, rake it up and do bales on this one time. And then we'll come back here with the tillage equipment and we'll actually turn this under and turn it into a proper field. Uh, we'll probably still put grass back here, but at least it'll be a proper field. And we can really ramp up on how much uh, how much yield we get back here. I don't think we'll necessarily need to be cutting the uh, strips in between our fields then. Uh, we can just let that grass sit there and we'll focus on this for our hay because this is going to be a lot easier uh, to get back in here and do what we need to do. So that's where I'm thinking right now. Yeah, Robin, it's the you record a course all the way around the outside and then set that as the outline of a field. I guess we could have been doing that right now. Maybe I'll do that on the next pass. I won't be too picky here. We'll give it a shot because it's a fairly narrow implement, so... It's funny is in all the stuff I've done on course play, I've never really had to bother doing that because I usually just create a field and then have it scan the field. So we might do that though. We might, uh, we're gonna plow this up anyway. So, so that we can get the appropriate bonuses for fertilizer and lime and stuff like that on this and get a much higher yield. So I think we're gonna do that. Rowanator, we did a ton of grass silage on uh, Alf. We're definitely not doing that on here. In fact, with the advanced feed mechanics, um, we'll be doing haylage, but we'll be doing that from the triticale and the alfalfa, not grass. Raids, this map is not available on PlayStation or console in general. John Estes, it's good to see you in the chat, sir. Big Dermo Gaming. Yeah, um, actually, um, there's a few tutorials out there for it. It's really straightforward. Um, you just open up course play. You record a, like a transport uh, course. I think it's, you know, mode one. And then uh, you'll have just that course around the outside. And then you can use that course uh, when you're uh, generating field boundaries. There's an option to use a course for your field boundaries. epic domain when am i gonna do a let's play on lincoln creek i'm uh considering it right now uh we just posted a video i'm losing track of the days today um the oklahoma video that i think that series is gonna meet on an early end here and so we might replace that with uh we might replace that with lincoln creek here we'll see i have to make a decision in the next day or two here Uh, triticale turns into grass silage at the end uh yeah it it's gonna be haylage here in uh on this map this map has the unique uh grass mechanics but i mean yeah essentially you're gonna mow it and it turns into grass i'm pretty sure because we've got the uh, green mowing mod here on this save and so we're going to actually be mowing all of our triticale instead of uh, waiting to harvest it. <clears throat> Epic, appreciate the kind words. A 
we're uh, we're getting better at this uh, grass stuff, though. We've avoided it for so long. I found it so painful for so long. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this self-propelled mower. And I won't lie, I'm really tempted to try and uh, extend the size of this header a little bit and uh, just blow it out a little bit in Blender. See if I could stretch the panels out a couple of feet. Raids, I'm the one that got you into farm sim after watching me for like two years. Well, welcome, welcome to the family. I, uh, I have to say, this is probably outside of maybe something like Minecraft or, you know, EVE Online, you know, are the only two games that I think I played for longer than I played Farm Sim. Um, I played a lot of games over the years, but most of them, I get tired of a game after a year or so. And uh, this is one that I've played for a long time. I shouldn't say that. I played a lot of MMOs for a long time back in my day. Played Ultima Online and EverQuest and stuff for, you know, probably six plus years each, easily. But uh, Farming Simulator is just, there's something about it. It's an awesome game, and there's uh, so many different ways to play this game. And so I find that there's something in here for everyone. You can, uh, you can do different things, you can play different ways. Um, you can play serious, you can play for fun. You can use the game to do completely weird and random things. You know, you watch uh, someone like the squad and all the crazy stuff that they manage to do on the farm sim platform is just awesome. So. Stranded Kansen in the house. Admit it, he just wanted to show off your orange badge with the rest of them. We had a number of members that have been uh, showing off their six months of support uh, in tonight's live stream. Looking good in the blue and orange there, sir. How wide is Wade Mitch's um, pull type Moco? Is that about the same size as this? It's just the pull type? Max Bowman, can I play on the Welker Farms map? Um, it's funny, that's one of my most requested maps, so. Uh, I made a commitment to somebody behind the scenes. We're going to play on that map before I'm done with FS19. So I don't know when exactly, but we'll play on Welker Farms at some point here before FS22 comes out. Greed, blue, and orange. The Moco is 4.5 or 4.6 meters. I think this is about that how big is this mower i'm curious now um this one is 4.3 so it's actually a little bit wider toby neal in the house welcome to the stream sir hey you better not be getting me in trouble stranded you're on vacation at some point i'm gonna come out and visit you and i would appreciate it if your wife didn't try to kill me I know my wife has uh, definitely been about done with this farm sim thing a few times. She's like, I don't understand. You're down there all day recording videos and then you do live streams multiple nights a week. Like, how can you play one game that much? I don't know. Running the Moco mower is fun to use as well. Yeah, it's funny as uh, I saw somebody was... Uh, I think it was probably Dairy, uh, Dairy Deer in our uh, one of our moderators on the Discord server. He uh, had this mower, and then he had a John Deere mower pulling a Moco uh, on like follow me right behind him. So he was doing two swaths at a time. So that looked pretty effective to me. Yeah, the wives just don't get it. VRs in Minnesota, Van Reesens. It's good to see you. Good to hear from you. Have a good evening. Noah, we do have a uh, ripper and a cultivator on this map.
Max Bowman, am I going to continue on the Millennial Farmer map? Uh, we did a full year on that map when it as kind of a revival. Um, I've played five different series on that map at this point. I'll prob I'm not going to say I'm not going to go back to it. I probably will go back to it, actually. Um, I like to use that map when I have some really cool big equipment that needs testing out. So we'll probably do some more live streams on that map here at some point. Stranded course play would work on um, this field. I just need to record a path around the outside of it first because it's not actually a field. It's just a grass area right now. Uh, and so it's pretty easy to do. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, but I'm actually going to plow this up or, you know, use a cultivator and, and till it up to create a real field back here so I can fertilize it. And uh, don't worry, this is episode four, but episode three doesn't come out on YouTube until tomorrow. We're in a time machine tonight. We, uh, the multiplayer servers were crashing right before the live stream, so I made a last minute decision to ditch the multiplayer and do Autumn Oaks instead. Seely, have I done? I did actually run a series on the um, the horse uh, aggravation map that has those really big fields. Um, that was a time lapse series for me, but I did actually do that back in the day. That was before I kind of um, uh, narrowed down into mostly North American style gameplay here. Uh, Rowanator, I have a 2720 Ripper. I think I've got the, it's a John Deere. It's the one that's like 12 feet wide. It's like just barely wider than my tractor. Because so I didn't want something that was super big because we're not going to do a lot of uh, plowing or ripping on this map. It's pretty much just for the corn ground and we'll only ever do uh, probably one to two fields of corn in a given year here. Lufta. Kerry Mullins, you think the game three day seasons might keep you away from 22 until the modders can fix it? Yeah, that's one concern that I've had. Although admittedly, I play on shorter seasons because I don't do a lot of grass work typically. And so I don't think it's going to affect my personal gameplay that much, but I can definitely see where there's a lot of people that want to uh, want an extended season day. And uh, it's interesting as the um, Giants already seems to be backpedaling a little bit on the three day season thing um, from a hard stance of no to a we've heard you we're going to look into it, but it probably won't happen on release. So we'll see how it goes. I think they definitely heard the community, though, that uh, they want to see more than three day seasons. I was impressed that they came back to us. They'd said no to multi-terrain angle during FarmCon, and then they came back a week later here or so, and they've got screenshots of uh, putting multi-terrain angle into base games, you know, or increasing the angles in the base game. And so I was really excited about that. I love seeing that. I mean, Giants has, you know, been doing a great job, I feel, of actually listening to the community and um, not just listening, but showing that they're listening and responding back to the community. So I'm super, super excited for uh, FS22. Um, getting to see that there's actually augers and bins and things like that going into FS22, like small stuff like that is going to make the game so much better at launch. Um, it's just these little things that we get used to in um, our other modded maps that we have here that are all going to be there from day one in Farm Sim 22. It's going to be awesome. Your missus used to give you a crap about playing PC games and then you gave it her a go at ATS with the wheel set up. Nice. Yeah, I've... Um, it's funny, I, we were talking about this early in the stream. I think I'm going to bend my rules and uh, um, we're going to do an ATS stream on Thursday in the middle of the day because I really want to get my Idaho potato achievement here. 
uh, before the event ends, and I'm not sure I'll be able to do it next week because uh, I'll be recovering from surgery and using pedals and all this other stuff is probably not going to be in my future for the next couple of weeks. And so I've got to do it before Friday. And so I thought it'd be fun to do it on stream. And uh, you guys can see how my horrible farm sim driving translates into being a trucker. I promise you it will... Uh, We'll need to make sure the crash counter is working before that stream. And uh, yes, this uh, W200 is available on console. It is on the in-game mod hub. I'm kind of curious, in real life, um, if anybody's actually driven one of these like do they spin on a dime like that like can you actually pivot like with one tire just staying where it's at uh because this thing like just turns like crazy and so i've never actually driven one uh Seely, i cannot hire a worker because this is technically not a field this is a just a grass pot um we would need to uh either turn it into a field which i want to cut the grass before we do that first or uh, set up course play to do it. Pretty much, it's like a big zero turn mower. Cool. Like, for me, sometimes with mods, especially stuff that's farm equipment I haven't had a chance to drive in real life, I'm always curious how accurate the mod comes to the real life experience. And this is a lot like what I, you know, this is a lot like driving a zero turn mower for me right now, so. The fact that they can spin that good is uh, encouraging. It means that I'm not totally uh, messing things up here by turning so tight. Um, the fact that I drift a bit is probably uh, not super realistic, but that's just farm sim physics. Sun Farms is a channel that I need to start watching. It, it shows up in my list of channels that people who watch me also watch and i've not really watched too many other videos i had a couple of people tell me today that i'm missing out and i should go watch sun farms so i'll have to check that out toby i did not catch that release somebody else was just mentioning the uh wade mitchell's uh releases here that i need to go check those out for some of the grass work you know this is again i'm not used to doing grass work so i'm not used to looking for those kinds of mods and so we're gonna be going and checking his stuff out i hear good things from a lot of people it's usually a sign that i'm missing out um we've got so many headland passes here i think we're gonna set up a gps track when we get back to the driveway area here sun oh it's sunny farms there you go thank you for the uh the, what do you call it, the pronunciation there. I'll definitely be checking that out. On a field, yeah, Seely, you can hire a um, a worker with this. I've definitely done that um, just to test it out on uh, a live stream actually a few weeks ago. I tested this out when I had the early access copy of it. All right, let's get my HUD on. I'm trying to drive straight here. We're gonna cut this in. We're gonna use GPS for the rest of this so that I'm not uh, driving all over the place. Oh my goodness. Lower my header here. The guys loved your mower setup, Ted. I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, we got alt tab for a second. Oh, my goodness. What happened? There we go. Every once in a while. Oh, now we've lost the chat. Where's the chat window? Oh, please don't go in the ditch. There we go. Every once in a while, my game uh, kicks me out. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what's going on. It's that time of the night. We've been going for a little over an hour, so we gotta start having some technical difficulties. It wouldn't be a uh, wouldn't be a stream if we didn't have technical difficulties. And of course, the members are reporting that there have been zero issues with the multiplayer server since I changed the stream at the last minute. So that's about how that goes. 
Toby, there's a link on American Style Mods. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I think I follow them on Facebook. I will uh, look for that, although I'm pretty sure I've seen Wade Mitch's stuff around. I've got some of his other mods. Justin Russell, appreciate the kind words, sir. Whoa, stop, stop. Get back on track here. What are you doing? All right. We've got these short pointy rows are always a pain to keep turning around on. Luckily, we're almost done here. We'll get this all turned around. There we go. Banana fish bones back in the stream. Good to see ya. Wade Mitch has got a page on Mod Network. That's probably where I've seen it. He used to have a uh, Facebook page, I thought, back in the day. Maybe I'm wrong. So many modders have uh, come and gone on the Facebook front due to, well, lots of reasons. I guess I won't go there, but uh, um, I'm glad to see that he's still putting stuff out. Sunny Farms, Baylor Mod on Facebook book would be cool it holds three round bales before you have to drop i've seen that that might be a bit much for this farm and i'm using square bales because uh our hayloft i think only supports square bales so we're gonna be doing square bales on this map but uh in fact i think we're doing small squares because that's the mod that i've got permas he still has a facebook page that's what i thought i haven't uh i haven't checked him out in a while but last time i saw he was uh who is doing a Facebook page. Yeah, this mower is cranking. Um, it's so fast, it's weird. I couldn't imagine uh, driving 20 plus miles an hour down the road in something like this though. I don't know, I think it'd feel weird. It's like a tractor cab on wheels. There's no actual tractor to go with it because it's all behind you. Oh, looks like somebody's going to be getting timed out. And uh, the swathers are, yeah, the swathers are cool. I'd love to uh, um, see the uh, cutting head on something like this for, you know, swathing like wheat or something like that. That'd be cool. Oh my goodness, we just spun around again. In fact, I remember why we were in cab now. I think I... Uh, have a little bit easier time if I put my hands on the right button and uh, we drive in cab here might work a little bit easier uh, but yeah this mod's been awesome I'm loving it the round baler that TA was working on has an accumulator that's what it's called an accumulator thank you I've seen it in a couple of spots um, pictures of it Have I ever played Farming USA 2? I don't actually recall. I've played... That's the John Deere one, I think. Um, I've played a couple of the John Deere farming games over the years. Mangus Farms, it was good to see you here. Have a good evening, sir. Yeah, Toby, that's what I mean. Draper head, cutter head. You know, what the... Uh, like you would see on a combine normally for doing, like, weed or canola some of the other crops like that. So 560 meter or 560 M on Facebook that has an accumulator. Cool. 
John Deere Deluxe Farming. There you go. That's the one that uh, I'm thinking of, I think, Scorpion's Edge. It was an older game, uh, but it was one of those things where, like, I'd played so much of the old Sim Farm, and then the John Deere game came out, and it was more of a farm management game, and I really liked it. I like those uh, farm management style games. I think that's part of why I have a tendency to really use, like, course play and stuff a lot more is... I like the, you know, overall farm management aspect and not as much the individual driving one piece of equipment. You know, I'm playing the series because I want to see the farm grow. I want to see us get more cows, more fields, you know, and see things grow and expand. Um, not as much the pure simulation aspect of the game. Yeah, Permas, it's funny, you know, being on North server, like that modding community there is uh, awesome. There's so many great modders out there in farm sim. And I think, you know, I, I'm guilty of this. I always just assumed that when you see a given modder's name and their mod that, you know, it's just them that's doing something. But, you know, as I get more and more involved with the community, it's been awesome to see how much um, all these different big name modders are out there helping each other out, you know, and people are running into random problems and, you know, everybody just jumps in and starts helping you out. And so I love seeing the modding community kind of come together like that. So uh, it's been fun getting into a few different uh, Discord servers here over the last uh, few months and getting to partake in some of those discussions. Scorpion's Edge, you love the crop dusting feature. Yeah. Speaking of, we gotta bust that out here. We gotta get back onto a big, wide open map so I can bust the crop duster out again. That was a fun mod. I had so much fun with that. I was so excited when uh, Permas pulled that together. Farming Simulator 22 fan, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh, Jack Adams, later you can send me the link to the big swather for grass and the W170 with the big header. Oh, we're not mowing. Yeah, um, let me know who released those. I'd be curious to take a look at it. All right, let's turn this thing back on. I keep hitting the wrong button over here on my uh, left side. The great thing with uh, North Sea, yeah, there's tons of people in the modding community that, you know, and you get the, once you get a certain subset of people together, you've got all your bases covered. Oh, goodness. It's been one of those days I uh, recorded two videos today and now we're doing a live stream, which has been a lot of fun. Um... But I'm like slowly building up uh, my voice, my ability to uh, talk for more than a couple hours in a day. So we're getting there. Yeah, Jack, I'm not sure. I don't think I've even seen those in uh, Farm Sim yet. I That'll be a new one for me. There we go. We're almost done with this field. So much grass. Yeah, it'll be interesting... Um, to see what kind of comments I get on tomorrow's video, given that it's in the past compared to the live stream here. And uh, I'll be curious to see how many people are uh, yelling at me because I'm cutting the grass when it's too wet. Because I didn't realize that uh, it wasn't the semi-dry grass texture at all when we were cutting it in the, uh, the video for tomorrow. So that's going to be a definitely a funny uh, experience there for me. Course play should be called the frustrate you mod. It is definitely frustrating at times. 
Although, depending on what you're trying to do with it, it's uh, gotten easier for me. I can do a lot of things without really having to think about it now. Oh no, my game is paused. What happened? Elf hasn't crashed since I started the stream, but my game is crashing. Oh no, is my stream still working is the question. Because the game is most definitely not. And we haven't saved in forever. I hope it doesn't crash and we lose all of our progress. There'll be tears. Alright, let's uh, click off of this for a second. Let's see if Farm Sim comes back. I'm not sure. It's coming back, folks. Doesn't look like it. According to Windows, it is in a non-responsive state. What happened? Let's see if I can find the stream. All right, so we're going to switch uh, one second. Here we go. Here, this will be less disorienting for people. So the stream is fine. The game is uh, not so fine. I really didn't want to lose this. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is why I hit the escape button on a regular button basis to save our game. Because, uh... It's toast. Alright, so this is not working. We're going to... Close this down real quick. We're going to have to relaunch the game. Oh, I so hope that's saved. And loading, loading. Bear with me. Had tractors plowing fields, get hung up on fences on Lincoln Creek when turning the corners last night. Ah, uh, yes. Fences. Not a fan of fences. All right, we're loading. We've at least at a minimum, we had purchased the uh, hand device. So all of that is uh, working. So we didn't lose all of our progress tonight. We've saved at least once. Yeah, but Hannah, I like I've had my game kind of hang up a little bit occasionally. And, you know, you alt tab and you tab back in and uh it will come back. This isn't so, you know, so that didn't work, obviously. So um, there, you know, I just haven't hit the escape button to go out to the menu to save the game in so long. And so we're going to come here. Yeah, our mower's down here. So I know for a fact none of that field is mowed. And none of this area over here got mowed. Oh, goodness. Oh, I didn't mow that anyway. Yeah, so none of the big field we just did in the back is currently mowed. So that is uh, that is unfortunate. So instead of re-mowing all of this field tonight, uh, because we've already mowed it once, we were literally just finishing that field. That's uh, so frustrating. What we're going to do instead is remember how to uh, set up a course play, uh, course play course for this live. So I'll see if we can remember how to do that. A lot of people were asking about that earlier in the stream, and I think I know how to do it. Um, I think it's really easy, and we'll give it a shot. Yeah, Farmer Kenbab, it only auto saves if you bring up the menu. So if I hit escape and bring up the menu, my game is set up to auto save every 15 minutes. So if I bring up the menu and 15 minutes has gone by and I haven't saved, it'll auto save. If you don't bring up the menu, it don't save. So we're gonna jump back in here now since uh, we're done crying about how, uh, how messed up our farm is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this vehicle to 
record a field boundary for this uh, particular map. And so in order to do this, we're going to take a drink of water. Get the bottle out of the way, because I actually need to be able to see um, the bottom here. And we're going to put this in the um, transport coast course mode. And we're going to say start recording. And we're just going to record a course around the outside of this map. Or this field, I should say. And I'm going to go in cab here so I don't keep seeing all these trees. And we're just going to assume that the center of my vehicle is where the outside of the field boundary is going to be here. And so I'm just going to go all the way around this section that I want to be considered part of my field for course play. And we're just going to not worry too much about getting super close to these trees and stuff. We've got plenty of room, and uh, like we've all just been talking about, I don't need course play getting hung up on every tree in existence here, so I'd rather leave a little bit of room than deal with all the frustration. And this is a pretty big size field, so uh, we needed to do this anyway. I was just going to do it by creating a physical field. But the cool thing is, is I can actually use course play to create my physical field later on here. Um, because I'll have the field definition and I can just set up a, a worker and set all the things properly. Although that can lead to some interesting problems as well, but we might try it out. And uh, we're almost there. You can see my course getting created over there behind us. And so this is uh, going to work out pretty quick for us, I think. Farmer Ken Bob FS says autosave, but it don't autosave is your point. Yeah, there's not a it's kind of it's like semi automatic. It's it'll autosave if you click a button every 15 minutes. When you mow, you use four passes for headlands. Yeah, we did uh, five or six, I think on this particular one just because i wasn't really paying attention i just kept driving around the field in a circle while i was talking but uh yeah we were trying to do more because i think in a lot of the other series i've done recently i didn't do enough headland passes now i can't remember but i think i just bring this point right back up next to the start point something like this and it's going to figure that out we're gonna save this as grass field boundary i don't know it's probably not spelled right um, and then I think what happens is if I want to do field work, I come in, I get rid of this, do course generation, field edge path. Oh, I have to use the currently loaded course. So we load that back up like we had it. And I do course generation, and then I use currently loaded course for the field edge path. We're going to do four headlands, and I want to then do da, 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 up down rows, set a working width, and generate. I do not like that direction, so I'm going to say starting direction is that. Uh. Can I do east-west? Nope. Really? Because it touches here, probably. What if I do two? Well, guess what? We're going to take it. And... We're going to... Wait, where did my course go? Hang on. Course play. Generate course, currently loaded, 
four passes. Three passes. Um, we'll do automatic because it didn't like when I tried to do it. And we'll let that go. There we go. First waypoint, drive course. And we're off to the races. Look at that, folks. See, it's that easy. And we're just going to crank this up a bit. Uh, I think we determined this guy can do like 15 miles an hour. I don't remember if I have, I do have the fixed version. Okay, well, we'll let him go max speed here. It'll be fine. Uh, you think I should take my over, oh, my overlap is set pretty high for something this wide. Yeah, we'll let it go. He's doing his thing. I'm not too worried about it. And uh, we're not going to sit here and watch this guy for the whole thing. We're going to just let it, uh, we're going to let it do its thing. And uh, we'll go back over to the farm here. And somebody was asking what we have uh, equipment wise on the farm. And so if I can find something to hop into here, we can uh, jump around. <clears throat> so we've got a few things. We've got uh, we've got this John Deere Gator, which is only here because the uh, box on the back of it is going to let me move a single cow around or a calf around. Uh, and so that was Dennis Farms's way to kind of simulate, um, you know, moving, you know, maybe a uh, pregnant heifer or something into the uh, calving barn uh, and stuff like that. There we go. Get the door to shut. Uh, we already looked earlier in the stream. We've got this awesome F-350 mod by Northwest Mods and Edits. Um, we've got this PJ trailer, which doesn't actually strap anything down on for me right now. Uh, we've got this Bobcat mod, which is awesome. So um, I've been playing with this. We did this in uh, the previous video in episode two on this series, and that uh, was a lot of fun. Uh, Noah, where did I get the gator? I forget where that's released. Uh, Dennis Farms uh, tossed that over to me f with the map, but that's been released somewhere out there. It's a pretty common mod. I think he just uh, made a quick tweak to it uh, to add that. I think the gator came from, was it Black Sheep Modding released the gator on the mod hub? I can't recall. There's definitely a gator released to the in-game mod hub. Uh, we've got a 7810 here, which is uh, Dennis Farms uh, mod, actually. And uh, right now it's hooked up to the sprayer because we've got some spraying to do here on our crops shortly. We're running the 9650 combine here from Sid Modding. And we've got this awesome uh, John Deere Cedar here. I forget what model number this is. Uh, it's the, 15, the 1590. And so this has got uh, chemical tanks on the back for liquid fertilizer tanks, and uh, that worked really well. We had a lot of fun seeding with that. So, And then we've got our headers for the combine out here, but then uh, we've got this nice uh, cool spreader here uh, all ready to start doing some slurries. So once we get the cows going here, uh, I'm really looking forward to spreading both uh, slurry and if we cut through the... Um, yard here we've got this awesome uh, manure spreader as well all set up here and ready to take on our manure so this is going to be a lot of fun to try out and then we've got a uh, mill back here for our bean mill um, it's a hammer mill of some kind I think we've got the base game rake right now but uh, given that there's some links going on black sheep modding yeah permas that's what I was thinking and uh, stuff like that so we're uh, we're all set on mods and then down here we've got a whole bunch of other mods Toby yeah no I think that the thought being is is that a lot of times you kind of walk uh, you might walk a cow around the yard or something like that but uh, we've got the big trailer for moving more than one and so we got two of these Meyer forge boxes here can't wait to use those We've got the John Deere, uh, the 8R here. This is the older style uh, that JHHG modding released. So this is the 8345R. And we've got the awesome Kinsey split row planter, which I can't wait to use. 
uh, because we're going to be able to plant 15-inch uh, row soybeans on this map, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Derry did talk me into using the pull-behind forage harvester here. We've got some grain carts. We've got a small square baler and a couple of auto-load trailers to use with it. We've got a um, vertical tillage tool here uh, for a disc, and then we've got a nice ripper here to use on our corn ground. So uh, we've got quite the spread here of uh, equipment. I'm really looking forward to it. And we've got a few different tractors here um, out here in the field because we were picking rock with it earlier. We've got the 6420, I believe. Let's see if I can see the model number there. Yep, it's a 6420. This is kind of our utility tractor. And then up in the main barn here, we've got a nice older uh, tractor that we use for our uh, kind of our feed tractor. And so this is the part of the map that, uh, or the, you know, the enhancements of the map that I think is the coolest is all the silos and the feed mixing station and stuff in here. And so we've got a nice... 4020 with one of these year-round cabs on it, which is pretty sweet um, for running our feed tractor. And uh, surprisingly, I mean, the mod's simple, but uh, the detail's not too bad. I like it. It's a lot of fun. So, Derry, no, you are, uh, you're getting harassed because I'm going to make you come in and chop all my corn because you made me use a pull-behind uh, silage harvester here. So anyway, let's see here. What else am I missing while we did the quick tour here for people? Some heifers chase you around the yard. Exactly, Toby. Uh, Pogue Gaming, where do you download the map? Yeah, um, Eli's right. Uh, Tyson Dennis's Facebook page. Uh, he's got the links out there. The map just released a few days ago. So. So, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be signing Derry up to help me out. We might do a uh, staff multiplayer here uh, uh, for the uh, silage harvest on this map, or at least Derry can jump on and help me help me out with my corn silage. That's a multiple person job anyway. So jumping back over here, it looks like our uh, mower is working successfully here on our little course play course, which is good. So we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to uh, get caught back up here after the game crash. In fact, what we should do now is uh, force a save here real quick, just to make sure we don't lose all of this progress at least. Uh -huh. Wish the adjustable spreader width script from the DLC was public. Yeah. That would be uh, that would be cool if there was some of those were released publicly. How do you get crop in the bin? Is there a grain auger mod? Yes, uh, Brittany. So there, I bought a couple of grain augers on the farm here. Uh, let's see if I can jump over here. Uh, so there's, I've got two augers. You're gonna need a. Uh, taller auger like this so we've got this Westfield set up to dump into the top of the bin and then to unload them here you're gonna need something to unload now there's a Brant auger that's been floating around that most people use it's a little blue auger that you can move around but uh, Northwest Mods and Edits the guy who did that awesome Ford truck also released this can aggro um, auger and this thing's pretty awesome because it'll actually go up high enough to load into uh, most trucks and stuff and it's just a really cool looking mod that Brant is kind of a poorly converted FS 17 mod and so the texturing and stuff doesn't look that uh, hot on it and whatnot where this one just looks really cool so I like this mod a lot and so I haven't gotten a chance to really use it much so we're going to be using this one on here uh SA farmer do I have the animal pen extension mod I think so uh, that's the mod that gives you the extra information on the animal screen, if I remember correctly. I don't recall, though. And so just looking at these cows, they're doing good, but my cleanliness is down here. What's that about? We might need to actually uh, get the bobcat out and go scoop some manure here real quick. Let's uh, let's see what it's going to take to go clean that up. That'll be uh, something fun to do here. 
So let's uh, drop these forks off here. Gotta get away from the wall here. Oh, don't crash into the trailer. Oh, my steering wheel's tipped ever so slightly. I find it more natural to use the uh, keyboard for the Bobcat especially. It feels more like driving with a joystick, just for some reason. So let's run down here. So we've got two cows in the heifer barn, or we got two heifers in the heifer barn, I should say. And it looks like they must be making a bit of a mess down here. And so hopefully we're going to be able to scoop that all up here with this handy bobcat. I'm kind of curious to see how this mechanic works here. Because we haven't given them any straw. And that's what I'm used to in uh, seasons is that uh, you, get manure, you get manure if you give them straw and you get slurry otherwise. But here I think we're creating some manure regardless. And so we're gonna hop out here. Hopefully we can get this gate open. There we go. And I can see it right here on the outside of the barn. So let's see if we can scoop this up. Oh yeah, there we got it. Or we're getting it. So let's, uh, it's kind of in an awkward spot here. I don't know if this is one of the things that might have got fixed. Again, I will remind everybody I'm running on an older version of the map right now. And so I haven't gone through the work to update. I'm going to do that over the weekend here. And so we're going to have to work at this a little bit. There's a little bit there in that crevice. I think if I come at it up the side of the hill here, I'll be able to scoop that up. I wonder if I can see... I can't really see the bucket very well in here. I feel like when I actually drove a bobcat in real life, it was so much easier to see what you were doing. Nope, I'm not getting that little bit, but we've made a dent. Hopefully this is going to register as uh, a little bit better cleanliness here for that pen. But either way, we're not going to fight with it too much. But now I do need to figure out what to do with this uh, manure. I should put it in the spreader. I'm not sure if this bobcat's going to have a high enough reach to get it into that spreader, though. So we're going to go give it a sh quick shot. There's some backco belt augers, too. There are some good backco belt augers, but I haven't seen any backco augers. Or I haven't seen any other augers that work for getting the crop out of the bin that's always been my struggle is finding more mods that do that now i feel like i could get this into the manure spreader if it wasn't parked down in that pit and so we're gonna do something which is probably extremely dumb and uh try and dump it into the back here without going down into the hill in real life, we'd probably just go get a tractor and pull this thing out before we tried to dump into it. But uh, we're feeling brave. It's farm sim. That was close. Oh, dear. Well, that's about how you'd expect that to go. We just don't have the traction. Go, go, go. Get some weight down. There we go. We got it. Isn't there a manure pile to dump into? I don't, not that I know of. I think the manure gets belted out here into, I mean, you could let it go on the ground, but if I park the coon there, it will, uh, it will just uh, dump into the spreader instead of uh, going on the ground. Yeah, Toby. We all knew how that was going to go before I even uh, started moving down that hill. My uh, stream is definitely delayed by a uh, probably 30 seconds, so you guys will be uh, harassing me here shortly. But we uh, we got the we got the manure into it. We might have uh, put a few dents into a few things, but we got back out. Jason, do I have to use seasons? Dairy has the answer there, but essentially 
if you don't use seasons, you're not going to be able to do most of the cool things that have been added to this map. So um, if you're not planning to play with animals, you could probably get away without using seasons. Justin Young says, what can my PC set up do? Uh, my PC can do everything except farm sim, it feels like. Farm sim, for whatever reason, uh, likes to chug on my computer from time to time. But uh, I've got a pretty good computer. Um, all of the stats for my computer actually have an Amazon uh, storefront link with all of the details about my computer set up in there, so... Let's see how this guy's doing now. We're on the angled rows. This wasn't the optimal uh, angle, but we are moved on from headlands and doing the angles now. Um, let's see if we can adjust the advanced settings here because we need to raise late and lower early because we're going to miss a whole bunch with how slow the header is on this thing. And actually, I want to probably raise early, too, with how... Uh, it's good. There we go. Is it cutting now? Yeah, see, it's cutting now when it turns back around, so... We'll be good, I think. We'll see how it does on this last turnaround here. And honestly, I won't be too worried about it. Uh, Devin, did I build my PC? Yes, I, uh, I built all my own PCs for the last, I don't know... 25 years or so um, haven't really been into the buying PC uh, uh, gig because I usually tend to upgrade things incrementally so we're looking good now the the changes to when you raise and lower seems to have helped quite a bit here on uh, this particular implement especially so no complaints and, uh, yeah, we're not going to sit here and watch this guy cut this field for the second time tonight. We've already done that once today, so I think this is probably a great point to wind up the stream. Um, Toby, exactly. The, uh, these short windrows are driving me crazy. That's part of, like, I just can't look at it anymore. We've got to, we got to move it off of the screen here, so... Uh, I think we're probably going to wrap things up here uh, for the night. We've been going for about two hours. We've had uh, enough frustration uh, for one evening with the way that uh, the game crashed out on us. And uh, like I said, we'll be live streaming again on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Uh, we will be doing custom harvesting on the Peace River map. So I can't wait to try that map out. And then uh, we'll also be doing a midday live stream on Thursday at noon Eastern time, I believe. I'll have to check my calendar. I'll post it out on uh, YouTube and Facebook here. Uh, likely tomorrow I'll post about that. We're going to do ATS and uh, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to haul potatoes on ATS. There's a uh, World of Trucks event right now to haul some potatoes around. And uh, we're going to check that out and see how it goes. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So if you want to see my terrible driving in a different game uh, in a much more exaggerated fashion, join in for the fun on that. Other than that, though, I appreciate everyone coming out tonight. I appreciate uh, seeing all the support from the members tonight in uh, chat. And uh, to everybody who donated, hats off to you. Uh, the support is much appreciated. That's all for today. Kedrick.